Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the F4 SVTX. This is a 20 by 20 micro size flight controller plus a power switchable video transmitter. The flight controller is an F4 flight controller with an MP6000 gyro. Uh, has a Betaflight OSD. Very nice. Uh, the video transmitter on here is power switchable. Uh, has pit mode. It goes all the way from 0 to 200 milliwatts. I think there's a 25 and a 100 milliwatt in between. Uh, the video transmitter antenna is a micro FL connector and they do include a small micro FL connector if you want to use that. And they also include a wiring loom to go to your ESCs or foreign EC or whatever you want to use. It connects right here on this plug right here. Uh, I know that um, in the documentation on the product specs uh, there was no information regarding if the video transmitter is controllable via your transmitter, uh, via Betaflight, you know, either IRC Tramp or Smart Audio, and I can confirm that uh, it does use the Tramp protocol on UR2. Uh, it isn't documented anywhere, it isn't on the product page, but I noticed that when I uh, used this flight controller, it was already flashed for Betaflight 323, and on UR2, IRC Tramp was enabled. You can use, I believe, it is this button here to uh, change your bands and channels via these lights. Um, not too, uh, it's not too hard, but it's also not that easy to do that via the button. Uh, I would just uh, plug it in, make sure you have your antenna plugged in, uh, and then you can then uh, use the tramp protocol to change your bands and channel. Obviously you want to scan for the channel that's on, I think it defaults to A1, and then you can uh, change it to the channel you want via um, the tramp protocol, and then that's probably going to be a lot easier doing that that way versus this button. And there's a uh, not a whole ton on here. Um, there's like a LC filter for the video transmitter, so the video is pretty clean. You'll see that in the flight demo. Uh, in terms of connections here, you on this side you have some solder points for your buzzer and LED, and then over on the other side here you have your connection here for your camera, so video and uh, power and ground, so it'll send 5 volts out to your camera. And then over here is your connections for your receiver. And they have four of them here, ground, 5 volts, S bus, and then uh, you have P and D, so that's PPM or um, DSMX, I believe. And I don't know if any of these uh, pads will output 3.3 .3 volts for a spectrum receiver. It doesn't appear to be. There are these four pads right here that I have no idea what those are for. I suspect that might be for another UART, maybe UART 1 perhaps. It's not documented anywhere and I didn't uh, attempt to connect that to anything so I'm not really sure what that's for. But uh, yeah, this is a um, very nice combo board. Uh, the video transmitter works really well. I think that I I've heard stories of some people having issues with this video transmitter in terms of reception, but you'll see in my flight demo, I went clear across a park about uh, 200 meters away and I got very little breakup even on 25 milliwatts. So they probably just didn't connect the antenna correctly or they had some sort of a defect or on their particular model, but um, mine was working. So in any event, there's the board you can get by itself. And if you want to connect that up to a 401 EC or something else or separate ECs, you have the wiring limits included. Uh, however, they do, do sell this board in this combo package here with uh, obviously with the antenna, the wiring limb that goes to a 4 in one ESC. It's a 28 amp BLLAS and comes with an XT30. So this is a really nice combo here. Uh, in terms of value, this is actually a lot better. If you're going to buy a separate, uh, like a 20 amp ESC, just buy this one. This is, if you bought this board and a 20, uh, 20 or 28 amp ESC separately, um, probably cost more. And you might be missing the wiring loom that you need that will actually work and connect the two together. These are, this package here, they are designed to work together. This wiring loom will work with this one and this one. And just keep in mind that um, on the, the connection here requires VBAT power, not 5 volts for the flight controller on one of these connections here. And also on the 401 EC, this one will output VBAT, so just be aware of that. I know that some of the some flight, some um, four when you see output five volts instead, and then some flight controllers would expect uh, five volts instead of VBAT. So you gotta make sure you look at the documentation of your components, make sure you get the right ones and are actually gonna be compatible with each other. Uh, but I would say just get this package here, the second link that's gonna be in the description for this, to make sure that you have a set that works correctly together. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.